Hello and welcome to Furry Is World, where we are back on the Sky Factory. And as you recall, last time we set up this thing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I am content that this is doing a job of work for us. It's going to take a bit of time to do. I could speed it up. I could put additional autonomous activators on these, not actually feeding stuff in, just clicking on it. That would, for each one, it would go one click faster sort of thing. So it's probably worth doubling the speed in, in these by adding autonomous activators on these side. I could even, I mean this one is now full and we're starting to get a backlog of, of gravel. I could even add a second sieve and a second autonomous activator off the same pipe so that any overspill goes in here but speeding this up might stop that one working. Who knows? Speeding it up probably the way forward and that's probably something we will do. Uh, I am going to need, I, I said I need. I wouldn't do it, but I am going to need to, to have a third enterprise over here for sand. I mean, that one's one, that one's three, this one's just going to be the two. It's going to produce surplus gravel, which can go into this pipe. But I need the certus quartz, and certus quartz comes from sand, and, and currently we're only getting certus quartz dust. I could use, I think it's force, force craft or dark craft or something that makes, that enables me to uh, freeze this stuff into, into full certus quartz. But I need, I need stuff that I haven't got and I don't think I'm going to be getting anytime soon. The only problem with doing that is we're going to run out of barrels so I'll probably have to filter it so that we don't get all of the the dust that comes out of it. I mean we're already getting a shed load of junk that we probably don't really need. It was only really the surface quartz that we needed out of it so we could probably bin the rest uh, quite happily. But right now right now uh, I've been thinking we need we need a bit of expansion. Let's go do some killing. Let's go do some killing while we can. While we got the option. Let's kill that guy. Let's kill that guy there. We've got a heart. That's good. I don't know what good it does us. Uh, still, I now know what these things are. They're, they're dark craft stuff. Um, but I don't know what, what, what purpose they serve us. There we go. i got a dark craft mana potion thing. Uh, I've got a heart. I don't, I don't know what any of this stuff does for me. But, hey, I'm happy to collect it. It's probably stuff that I'll need at a later date and can't actually use at the moment. Oh, we got a we got a spoils bag, and our spoils bag contains uh, a bucket of force. That's probably useful. A second bucket of force. That's probably useful. A claw. Excellent. A stencil. Don't know. Builder's wand. Uh, I do know how to use them, but I can't remember. A four shard. Uh, inventory's a little bit full. Okay. Uh, uh, let's give it to the bone. Let's give it to the bone. We don't need the bone. And a tear. Okay. Uh, wood can get stacked. Okay. Cool. That's sorted that out. We picked up the bone again. Let's go. Let's go clean our inventory a bit because uh, we got some junk. We got we got some cows down there. We need to work on the farms. We need to we need to work out how we're going to farm this. What we're doing with farms and all that sort of shenanigans. Uh, you can have that. You can have that and that because I don't know what they are. We got a creep head. I don't really want a creep head. I don't know what purpose a creep head is going to serve me. But we got one, so so that's that's good. Uh, if if ever we need one, we have one to hand, which is really really useful. Only I don't really know what we need it for. Right, we're gonna we're gonna next job of work I want to do is start start farming. I want I want to get some farming on the go out that sort of way. I want a, a tree farm that's going to automate production of leaves. Um, I'm thinking mine factory reloaded. I don't know whether you're agreeing with me. Uh, but to do all... It's raining sheep over there. Well, that's, that's interesting. It's clearly a sheep on the edge of nothingness down there. Fair enough. Um, I don't know whether... MFR is the right way to go with dirt production, but it's what I'm thinking we're going we're gonna to start off with anyway. You know I never go in the right direction to start with. But we need to be lower in the world, so that means we've got to go through the floor. So we've got to dig a hole right in the middle of the floor there. That's where we're going. That's what we're, that's what we're going down there. Uh, I could do with um, my bucket. I've got my bucket. There's no putting this off, is there? I've got. I've got to go in the hole. I don't. I don't want to go in the hole. I really don't want to. I'm leaving my crescent hammer and my other hammers here. I'm leaving everything I don't actually need to take in the chest. Because there's, there's, there's a very strong possibility we're not coming back from this. Stone slabs, cobble slabs, glass. I'll keep. I'll leave the glass as well. And the levers. 
I think that's that's probably good enough. So we, we, we're going to use some of this stuff and we're going to go down in the world and hopefully succeed. We will see. We will see how this goes. Uh -huh. Nothing succeeds like success. That's the way it has to be. So this is a full block here. So if I plop the water in. Right. Here we go. Everyone ready for this. Let's place some blocks going down in the world and let's quickly just swim to the back edge of this water so we don't drown. Keep building this down. Oh, that didn't go well. That That's not gone well at all. Oh boy, into the miss. I missed the water. That's what happens. You fall out of the water. That did not go well, but we have got a little slab down there. So what we can do we get another bucket and we lost our axe as well that's okay the axe was a bit garbage uh, we need a much better axe I need some iron have I got some iron cooked off already of course I have I need a bucket please bucket for doing the job grab some more wood because we lost all our wood there I mean that's that's a that's an easy quick efficient way to, to clear your inventory of all the garbage in it it does marvelously well. Excellent. Uh, torches. Have we got any? No, we haven't got any of that. So we will make some more charcoal. Oh, we got some more Mr. Wigglies. That's good. Let that cook off. So we got some wood there. I don't know whether I was deep enough there. I don't think I was. I don't think I was deep enough. I think we need to go deeper than that. But we will see. Let's get some more charcoal cooked off. Let's have a little look down there. It's a long way down, but probably not far enough. I could do with going... I'd like to split it. I think mean, we've got one level there, probably two levels going down there. That's fine. It's a good start. Uh, so that's going to be some torches, which is good. Uh, I need my crafting table, so we can quickly knock out some sticks. Knock out some torches. Four torches, get us going. Let's make a, let's make a load more sticks like that just in case we get stuff done quicker than we think we're going to let's grab some more wood and we kind of need to get some ladders on the go so we're going to need a lot more sticks aren't we we are going to need we is our am going to need a lot more sticks there we go not enough probably to do the job we need to do but 24 is that hole deeper than 24 that's the big question. Could you actually make sticks? That'd be great. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. That's wizard. Okay. So we need to go down there and then come back up again. So let's let's just grab the charcoal and let's do that thing, shall we? Uh, have I got a half sla uh, a slab? I don't like this this bit at the top. I could just knock that block out and replace it, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it that way. No point in pillocking about with part blocks. Let's just get a full block in there. And let's go down into the hole. Take a bit of damage, as you do. The sheep is still falling, but I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look him in the eye, because he might, he might be a bad influence on me, and I might fall. Okay. Ladder all the way up. Nicely done. Eventually, we'll convert this into elevators, but for now, ladders is good enough. And then we need to just create a little bit of a landing platform down here. We can switch this to, to half slabs eventually, but for now we'll just go with a full-blooded landing platform like that. Excellent. Uh, I think we probably are deep enough here. I'm thinking. Let's see how deep we are. One, two. Oh god, I hate counting ladders. Two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten down, so no, if we drop one, two, three, four, five, and have another level here, that doesn't work. That just doesn't, one, two, three, four, five, there. Okay, that's where we want our next level. 
Okay, maybe we can hop off onto that. It's a bit of a painful experience, this, I have to say. I'm not comfortable working down in the void like this. And I suspect, as I say, we will probably have to go considerably deeper. But we've got two levels we can work with down here now. We've got immediately underneath where we can actually reach the underside of that level, which is the critical bit. And we'll have a torch there and a torch on the other side. And that should keep this level safely lit. And then down to the bottom and the same again around here. Torch and dodge nice nicely done yep that'll do let's get some half slabs and let's let's make our access ways out to where we need them let's get a load of half slabs we do that by doing that and chunk there we go shed load of half slabs and chunk again over two stacks of half slabs it's good that we've got limit sort of it's, i'm not going to say limitless but relatively limitless resources now righty ho so we need to go on the bottom the bottom half slab needs to be the one that we're going to use and bring this out as well we need these nice and wide because we don't want any incidents incidents and accidents hints and allegations hey we don't need any of that we're going to come out to the middle of the whole enterprise and we're going to work from there out to the sides we're going to follow the same basic pattern we've got above us the, the the whole cross thing only we're going to be down here in the in the void layer i don't like it down here because the sky is black but we need to make our our, our our fish tank i'm going to say fish tank pond pond's a good name for it some place where where your your squiddy guys can spawn in so we need to go that away we're not quite that's the center line that's perfect that's just simply perfect so we can bring this out this way like so and keep going with it one two three four we've gone through a stack of these already which is excellent and then we're going to have as i say a second layer above this layer between our base and this layer depending on what what height we need to work at i mean it looks quite impressive from down here the whole thing does look like it's the job which is what we wanted so what i will be doing for a a period of time for a considerable period of time is laying wood down here but also getting the sand f sort of sieving going as well so next time you join me, I will have sand sieving on the run and I will have finished all of this construction down here and we will be ready to start a bit of MFR work. Uh, now the beauty of this all being on the lower half of the half slab is we don't need to worry about mob spawning, which is a good thing because down here things are a little bit precarious. We'll come all the way out to the, 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 creature, the creature pad. I don't think we need to come much further than this. This is a good a good run out. We're right on the edge of it. We'll come just a little bit more so we are on the edge of it. But the the layer above this will need to come right under the creature pad because we will need to half slab the bottom of the creature pad so that that dirt that we've got up there, if we should ever decide to reclaim it, is a reclaimable resource. So this is this is the big big plan now. Uh, we need to half slab all of these, but I don't intend to remove these dirts at all. I think they're going to stay in place. Um, yeah, so we're going to have what I want to put in over that away is two nine by uh, two three by three mine factory reloaded tree farms that will all be self-contained and autonomous. Um, self-powering hopefully eventually we might need to interfere with it to start with to get it powered but hopefully eventually self-powering for both of them off the one one producing leaves and one producing saplings and the saplings will power both of them and the leaves can be turned into dirt with with you know the autonomous activator trick um and the sieving no 
How do we make dirt? Oh, we compost, don't we? Yeah, that's right. So that's the plan. And we've got a good good base down here. We only died the once, which has really annoyed me, actually. I didn't want to die doing this. But sometimes you don't get a say in the matter. But we have now got the start of our underworld on the way. Uh, I will put in the second layer. I will finish all the slabbing that needs to be done before you join me. And I will get my sand sieving system up and running. So we'll be getting... We'll be getting good stuff coming down here. I mean, look at look at all this 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 good swag we've got now. It's good. So from Furry Ears World, where we are, we are here. We're doing a good job. We're making progress. I shall simply say, ta-ta for now.